In 2019, Turkey was removed from the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter program following its acceptance of the S-400 Russian-made air defense system. The US quickly released a statement announcing that it had the power to keep the planes from moving to Turkish soil. All Turkish F-35 personnel were informed to leave the US immediately, including 20 individuals assigned to the Joint Program Office. This fallout between the US and Turkey threatens to hinder the long-term cooperation both countries have enjoyed since the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. In this video, we are going to explore this crisis in detail. To begin, we have to know more about the advanced F-35 military aircraft. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is the latest generation of an all-weather stealth combat aircraft that is intended to perform both air superiority and strike missions. Lockheed Martin is the prime contractor in this program. Other principal partners are Nordstrom Grumman and BAE Systems. The development of the aircraft is principally funded by the United States. Additional funding comes from program partner countries from NATO and close US allies including the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Italy, Norway, Denmark, Netherlands and Turkey. The development of the aircraft has however been plagued by multiple crises and scandals, including budget overruns and many years of delays. One striking scandal, however, is a geopolitical incident involving the United States and its key NATO ally, Turkey. The US Defense Ministry decided to curse Turkey into abandoning an air defense military equipment deal with Russia by kicking them out of the F-35 program. This was despite Turkey already committing to program with cash and personnel. In response to that announcement, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan threatened to close two major air bases the United States uses in Turkey. One of those bases, in Sirlik, reportedly houses up to 50 US nuclear weapons, which were installed to deter the USSR during the Cold War. The Turkish authorities viewed the purchase of the S-400 missile systems from Russia as a matter of sovereignty and a hedge against future coup attempts. The origin of the crisis is closely linked to the 2016 failed coup attempt against the Turkish president. A faction within the Turkish armed forces organized as the Peace at Home Council, attempted a coup d'etat against the state institution. They attempted to seize control of several places in Ankara, Istanbul, Marmaris and other places, such as the eastern side of the Bosphorus Bridge. The council cited erosion of secularism, elimination of democratic rule, disregard for human rights and Turkey's loss of credibility in the international arena as reasons for the coup. The coup attempt, however, failed after forces and civilians loyal to the state defeated the coup plotters. The Turkish government said it had evidence the coup leaders were linked to the Gulen movement. This movement is designated as a terrorist organization by the Republic of Turkey. The movement is led by Fethullah Gulen, a Turkish businessman who lives in exile in the United States. Erdogan further accuses the head of the United States Central Command, General Joseph Votel, of siding of the coup plotters, after Votel criticized the Turkish government for arresting Pentagon agents linked to the coup. The coup attempt resulted in the death of over 300 people and a further 2100 were injured. Many government buildings, including the Turkish parliament and the presidential palace, were bombed from the air. Mass arrests followed with at least 40,000 detained including at least 10,000 soldiers and 2,745 judges. It was in the face of this coup attempt that Turkey decided to pivot more towards Russia with a purchase of Russian air defense systems. In response, the US kicked Turkey out of the F-35 program. Turkey subsequently threatened to kick US military bases out of Turkish soil. Turkey also refused to back Sweden's bid to join NATO. The US offered Turkey F-16s, a less advanced fighter jet, and dangled EU membership if Turkey reconsidered the purchase of the S-400. They also offered to sell Turkey the Patriot air defense system in place of the S-400. The negotiations are still ongoing to date. The collapse of the US-Turkey F-35 deal has consequences on global politics. It might be a setback for Turkey, but it is not a potentially existential threat to Erdogan's regime, unlike looking soft in the face of American coercion. A huge chunk of Erdogan's voting base consists of mostly Islamic anti-American demography. Standing up to the domestically unpopular US thus expresses strength. On top of that, it also reflects the fulfillment and manifestation of the long-standing aspirations of Turkey to pursue an independent foreign policy. On the other hand, the United States is far more likely to further damage relations with its NATO ally than find common ground if it continues to use the F-35 embargo to explicitly coerce Ankara. 
Even more troubling for Washington, this incident shows a marked decline in US authority and power around the globe. The future of Russo-Turkish ties will depend to a great deal, perhaps decisively, on the future of US-Turkish relationships. If the United States and Turkey remain allies, even troubled ones, Ankara is unlikely to deepen its ties with Russia beyond the current commitment. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.